All right, you've completed your oil filter change and fuel filter change, and you go to start up the engine. And your engine light's on and perform service on your instrument cluster. What could that be? More than likely, it's probably something pretty simple. But let me show you what I think it is. It's more than likely gonna be your crank case ventilation filter. And that bad boy lies underneath that cover there. So it looks like on this particular engine, we got two, four, five, six, probably seven, eight bolts to take off. But first you want to remove your oil fill cap and lay it aside but remember to put it back on you don't want to get down the road and smell that oil burning on your engine remove your dipstick lay it aside and then let's proceed to take the uh, bolt out and we're gonna Go ahead and remove those, that bolt. Yeah, we don't want to uh, lose these, especially. Let me uh, let me uh, take this back. Let's keep that on there until after we get all the bolts removed, just so we don't get any stray bolts down into the crankcase. Don't want that to happen, do we? All right, remove that cover, lay it aside. All right, then we want to go ahead and take these bolts out. It looks like there's three on each side, so total of six on the actual cover. Maybe one in the back. We'll have to see. You got some. Uh, Cables holders attached here, so just remove that from the stud. Looks like we got another one back here as well. Just be careful not to try not to damage them if at all possible. We get these long studs out of there. Be careful where you put your hands, but the engine is still warm. I always keep a magnet handy in the truck for special occasions like this and to retrieve anything you might drop which you will if you're anything like me all right with the uh, bolts removed you had two four six eight you had four in the top cover then you got two that have uh, studs all require 5 sixteenths, and then you need deep wells for the uh, ones with the studs. And then, with that being said, you are ready to take your cap off now. Set it aside somewhere safely, but remember to put it back on. And then we just take this top cover off. Yeah, it looks like something is attached to this here. You've got a hose attached to the side here, but you can just lay it up and over without damaging anything, like so. Then it exposes what you're about to get at. Now, might be able to get up this, yeah, just pull it up, peel it away, 
Might be a little tight just from being on there for so long. It's needed to get a uh, flat screwdriver, being careful not to damage anything, and just pop it loose. This is your crankcase ventilation filter. That's what it looks like. Now, you want to be very careful at this point not to drop anything down in here. Because I'll show you. It has several holes that look like they go to infinity and beyond. That you don't want to be dropping anything down into it. Now let's get the new filter. All right, I checked with my local auto parts place. They didn't have any of these filters in, on hand. So I went ahead and ordered it from Amazon. See if it's the same. For those are keeping track. That's the part number from China. So let's just compare it briefly before I take it out of the wrapper. Looks like everything is the same on this side, same size. There's nothing else on the other side, so that will not matter. So let's go ahead and take the plastic wrapping off. It looks like the filters are right up in there. Let's see what the old filters look like. Oh, nice. Nice and dingy, if you can see that. Stark difference, I would say. All right, let's get this new one in there. Comes with new O-rings already on there. So you don't have to worry about those. But before we drop anything down in here, let's just go ahead and get this puppy in place. And then carefully bring your cover back over, put it in place, making sure that nothing's pinched in between the cover like harnesses or anything like that. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, ones with studs lined up. Tighten these down in a cross pattern to prevent breaking anything or cross threading anything. I just go ahead and temp them up. Let's go ahead and do this. Before we drop any, just put our fuel cap over just to cover it. But remember to tighten it. Temp these up in a cross fashion. Before we do a final tight. Just snug these up the rest of the way. Alright. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Cover. One more thing before I forget, replace these little wire harness holders back on there. And manage the wire harnesses. Then make sure that the dipstick goes through a little hole here and tighten this uh, oil cap down. Now, while you're thinking about it, and just get these guys started where they need to go later. Let's go ahead and put the oil dipstick in. And then just snug these up. They weren't very tight at all. 
there you go so that my friends is how you change the crankcase filter element in your ram 2018 6.7 cummins diesel all right now to reset the perform service light and engine light so you want to turn the ignition on to where you get the bell dinging but do not start the engine to keep your foot off the brake and then you want to press the brake pedal twice and then press the accelerator twice within 10 seconds of one another. Then turn it off, put your foot on the brake pedal and start the engine. No stored messages. Starting the engine up a couple times and driving it, the engine light did go off by itself. All right, that's all there is to it. Change out your crankcase filter uh, for your Ram 2018 6.7 Cummins diesel. Um, hope you got something out of that. Also, check out my other videos on the Ram here. I've got videos on uh, replacing the DEF system, the heating element, the DEF tank, the injector line from the DEF tank over to the injector, uh, as well as oil changes, fuel filter changes, uh, pads all the way around, brake pads, and rotors. So out of all those videos, something might be able to help you out and also save you money and um, save you from getting the wrong advice, hopefully, like I did on a couple things that I share in my uh, videos. Until next time, thank you for stopping in. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you all.